Hey, welcome to Social Distancing, video number nine of Walker This Way with Hazel Walker, the queen of all things. B and I in networking. I am Mark Simmons, Hazel Walker. You know what happened a couple weeks ago? No. No, Mr. Grant, there, Mark, yeah. a lot of things have happened in two weeks. It has. Something big happened, B and I globally. B and I did a brand refresh. Boom. Oh, our new brand. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the new, new look. Brand. Yeah. So it's what I have good. done is I have taken the brand. Or the logo. The brand. Oh, is it a logo? It's a oh, brand. Okay, so I'm taking the logo. Part of the logo, yeah. And I've done a next generation one, which I'm going to use in my chapter. It's really cool. You're going to love it. So this is the new one, my new B&I brand. And I've created a brand new 10-point agenda for the meeting. Uh, you're you're going to love that, too. They're just ba they're, they're 10 to the point points and sending it out to all my members and this is how we're going to do things but our new color is yellow and i um, pretty excited about that so it's like a stress off my back i don't have to worry about this all weekend you know here's just fyi yeah you don't want ivan i hope ivan's not watching this one hey ivan if you are <laughs> Well, you're at a loss for off. words, Hazel. Oh, well, I know because I can never cease to be amazed at what you will do. Worst member ever. You know, I don't work very hard at that. <laughs> we haven't even had it out two weeks and he's changing the brand. Uh, well, first off, let's talk about the logo. Okay. Because that's just one aspect of our brand, right? And you know, there's been thousands of dollars spent on developing this new look mm -hmm. right with with the what the eye and the history and the story and everything that goes behind it so um you don't get to change it there's there's actually a manual and the manual tells you how you're allowed to use the brand and not use the brand use the logo right but and the colors have to be right blacks and grays and whites and reds but let's get a little deeper than that. I'm more concerned with other parts of our brand that you're changing. Like? The agenda. Oh, that's part of the brand? <laughs> let, me, let me give you an analogy. Okay. There's, there's a restaurant. It's pretty popular. It's, it's, it's all over the world, actually. I don't think I've ever been to a country that doesn't have it. And they've got these big golden arches. Mm. Right? And they're yellow. You've, have you seen red ones? No. Blue ones? No. They're, so they're always yellow. Always. So that's part of their brand. But when you go walking in to this restaurant, they serve um, big pancakes with bacon and eggs, and they come to your table, and they serve big pots of coffee, and you can get fried chicken and biscuits and... Um, you know, they serve this big, have you been in one that serves all of that? No. What, Never. what do they serve? Um, burgers, fries, and a Coke. And what's the name of your favorite burger from there? The Big Mac. 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 The Big Mac. The McDonald's. Big Mac. Yes. There's Big Macs. Correct. Do you think what they serve in their restaurant is part of their brand? Uh, I would say it is, yes. Yes, right? You can't go into a McDonald's and get just anything you want. You have to want a Big Mac, you have to want a Whopper, you got you want the filet of fish right? You want their brands. Okay, same with B&I. Mm -hmm. the, the agenda is like, it's more than 10 points. It's like 21 points. And you just got rid of half of our brand. Because any chapter you go to anywhere in the world, just like any McDonald's, any chapter you go to anywhere in the world is going to be running that agenda. Will they run it a little bit differently? If they've got 120 members, of course they are. They're going to they're gonna shift it up. But I've been to chapters all over the world. They run that same agenda in every language. Right. Right? It's only adapted when it's large. The other thing that's part of our brand is the BNI policies. 
Those are part of our brand. We have policies and we have membership committees that manage those policies, like the attendance policy. And the reason other organizations often collapse is because they won't enforce an attendance policy. So that's part of our brand. What about our values? Don't you see those posted everywhere? Yes. And we use them as opening in our meetings. Mm -hmm. And you know that Graham Waymiller and Ivan Meisner, they do that all the time. They talk about the, their favorite Core value, right? value yeah. right? That's part of our brand, as is our mission statement. And BNI University. So it all comes together to create a brand. And you think by drawing a pretty picture and making it yellow. No. A good, no, it's not a good thing. Because it dilutes the brand and over time, it destroys the brand. Right. And you shouldn't be adding things to it, follow the brand guidelines, stop changing the colors. And this also goes for websites, Facebook pages, LinkedIn pages. All of them have to be properly branded to represent who we are in the world. Because when we're all branded correctly and we're all doing the same thing, people recognize us right away. It gives us high credibility. So let me ask you this, Hazel Walker. Um, I have a chapter, I have a chapter website that I created on my own and it's yellow. And I have my Facebook page and I have an Instagram account and a LinkedIn account. Um, but it's mine because it's my chapters and it belongs to us as members so we can do what we want. Is that true? I could see how you might think that, but no, that's not true. All these assets belong to the franchise owner and ultimately they belong to the global office. It's all part of the corporate assets. And you starting a, a, a website that's completely out of brand is not okay, right? You creating a whole new brand for the B&I chapter Facebook page is not okay. You can have your, your name, like in the background you see Walker this way, Mm -hmm. with the B&I brand next to it, that's okay. It's not interfering with each other. Walker this way, and we're doing it under the B&I brand. You know where I got that from? I'll show you. It's over here. I got that from the Branding Standards Guide. There you go. To make sure we could do it. Exactly. Do you so know where I got the guide from? B&I Branding. Dot com. B&I Branding dot com. I think every member has access to it. What a concept, yeah. right? So our goal is to keep the brand clean, keep the brand out, standing out the way it's supposed to be and not polluting it with lots of other things. And if you're gonna have a separate web website, I don't mind, but it must be properly branded. It must link to all of our registrations and all, every link has to work. That's it. And it's gotta be in the proper color. So it can't be yellow. No yellow. Okay. So to my chapter members, I just want you to know that our idea of the new logo and our 10 point agenda has just died a very quick death. Bye bye. Um, we will definitely be getting back to the brand, which everyone, many people have worked so hard to create with purpose. And honestly, back to reality for, for the members is it's a lot easier to, to stick to the brand. Everything is there. It stick really the, is. Yeah. It, 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 when I first came to British Columbia, I remember walking into a chapter. I didn't know it was a BNI chapter. Right. They had not. They had their own name badges. They had no. It was only the agenda that made me know where I was. Right. Right. So now we want to make sure everyone sticks to the brand and not just the pretty logo, but the agenda. The every piece of it has to work well. Yeah, and I guess truthfully, Hazel Walker, you cannot walk into anybody's business and change their colors, their brand, their, the way they run their business or anything. We can't do the same, especially for franchise owners. It's your, it's your business. So BNI brand, no, it's what's called BNI branding.com is where you find all the information about the branding assets, the guide, uh, follow the guide. If you have a website and just side note on having your own chapter website, when it links to your, your region's um, website, for us here, it's bnibc.ca. When it links to the, the members page or your, all your information, it's automatically updated constantly. 
So you don't have to think about it. I've seen way too many chapter websites that created on their own and they still have members in there and pictures from like two, three years ago. Members don't exist. The links are broken and yeah. it takes credibility away from what it is you're trying to create. Oh yeah. I looked at urban professionals website today. It's, it's spot on. It's well branded. All the links work. It's really done well. Yeah. So it, it's possible to do it. I don't understand the why behind it, but it is possible to do it and, and do it well. Yeah. So that's all for us. If you have questions, talk to your regional team, wherever you are in the world, talk to your franchise managers, your executive directors. They will have all the information you need uh, until video number 10 is a walker. Next video. I got some work to do to bring everything back. We'll see you then. Thank you.